Hey, welcome back to Dear Twin Flame. So apparently I suck at not recording. That's what I've decided. <laughs> because it hasn't been that long. And actually, I recorded last night, but I didn't upload it because I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. So I'll share what I told you yesterday, but um, mainly it was just to say Happy Canada Day. And I hope you got to enjoy the fireworks because there was a lot of them along the beach last night, so that was kind of cool. I was there with Sadie. Um, she went paddle boarding and we had a fire instead of going on Friday night because I can't make that happen this week. So, um, why am I recording? I am recording because after I decided that I was going to cut back, it was like I was inundated with messages from the universe, from all different sources, people, um, articles uh, that came through of my email. Um, just, I can't even tell you, like, there's like, well, first of all, I had a dream and it questioned my decision and then I got a text from your sister, which was totally unrelated, but it made me question, what she was saying made me question my decisions. And then um, I did my cards and that basically said, what are you doing? <laughs> I just kept getting all these messages that are like, we were on the right path and, and now you're messing with it because you're second guessing. So again, I overthink and I'm trying not to and when I go down the wrong way I get pointed back so here I am recording again because not recording wasn't making me happy either so yeah anyway so I'm going to record I'm just gonna try not to concern myself with whether you watch them or not I think that's what I'm gonna do I don't know this is ridiculous anyway um, was I gonna say? I did have actually stuff I wanted to tell you. I um, I had a friend reach out yesterday. I, I did some Reiki on her son and she, when she came to pick him up, we were chatting and um, she does a lot of past life, um, uh, past life, what, um, journeys, I don't know. Anyway, and in the past, she's journeyed for me for past life stuff when we've worked with Bernie. And um, she said, this was one of the reasons she's like, okay, what's going on with you? And I was like, nothing. Why? Everything's good. And she's like, have you changed something? Because y you keep coming up to me in um, my, in my dreams. And I was like, oh, that's good. She was like, well, not you directly, but your past life. And um, it just felt like we were on a loop. So what have you done that's put you back in this loop? And I was like, I, have I? <laughs> so there, there's one of the reasons that I'm recording again, because evidently it was questioning whether I was following, following a past cycle. So I'm gonna tell you about this past life because I've actually had it um, told to me by three different people along with myself, um, but it's, I've had three different people journey for me on different occasions um, talking about past lives and each of them have described this same past life. Um, it comes up as one of our, one of our, yours and my first past lives um, and I thought I'd share it with you so you'd have some semblance of a background to some of our story maybe. Anyway, so we were part of a, it was like a long time ago. <laughs> I can't tell you a time or an, an a, but it was like, almost like a, oh, how do I describe this? Um, tribal, um, not, not um, like a developed country. I, I always am drawn to um, New Zealand, but there's been different, different, differing opinions whether it was New Zealand type-ish areas 
um, Fiji Islands that kind of thing or whether it's um, somewhere in South Af South America I mean um, I'm still drawn to the tribes of like the, the Indonesia Fiji Islands New Zealand type areas but we haven't really nailed that down anyway many years ago before any kind of industrial revolution or anything like that like we're talking aboriginals native to the land um and you were for lack of a better term crown prince um you were the chief's son high expectations um arranged marriage that kind of idea uh, you were a warrior you were um um, very, very respected, very um, coveted, <laughs> coveted by all the women, um, and you had, like I said, big expectations on you, and I was not <laughs> part of that um, um, hierarchy of the tribe. I was a low man on the totem pole. Anyway, we had a torrid affair. Um, we were very much in love and we did a lot of sneaking around apparently. And then um, you were to be married and you were to go off to do a ceremony with the men of the village. And you had to, the last I saw of you, um, was you going into um, like the bush, so to speak, um, tropical forest, whatever. Um, you all had this like headdress and spear and the whole nine yards. And you, I just saw that you're back walking away. And I knew you didn't want to go, but you had to fulfill this role. And I was devastated and one of the elders of the village, kind of like a shaman, but she's a woman. Um, basically, it was decided that I needed to leave the village and I would go. Um, I was given to a local, another, another tribe, another village, whatever. Um, I was given to a farmer, it, which is ironic, but whatever. Um, and lived out my remaining days there. Um, I was basically our our people, our tribe, our the the powers that be dictated our future, so to speak. And I went on to have three children. Apparently, one of those was yours from the Torrid affair that we had prior to me leaving, but no one recognized that and no one, I don't think anybody, from what I've been told, um, it was never known other than to me. So, um, so the theories have all come out from these people who have had these journeys and described these journeys because they've all been very similar with very, very little discrepancies, um, which is really weird, but um, confirming to I suppose um, but what they said was that it's one of our um, so I have okay here's the here's the what is the message in knowing this information so the first person that did this journey for me I love her to death she's a very wonderful person um, but she's a very angry person. She has a lot of past childhood traumas that she has yet to deal with. She has lots of people who she is angry with. She has a big time problem with authority. Um, she's very anti-government and she's very anti-authority. Um, you don't tell her what to do. You don't tell her. Um, anyway, it's a long story, but Ultimately, she's very, very angry. She's very, got lots of hurts she hasn't dealt with, which is fine, no judgment, um, but I find that it skews her opinions on things. Um, 
but her, she was the one that initially journeyed and found this past life. And I recognized it immediately because I'd had similar dreams, but I hadn't had the whole story. I just seen, I could just, I kept getting this picture of you walking away. Um, and she kept saying, you guys aren't, you guys can't ever be together because you have to pay for this karmic relationship. You have to pay for, you have to pay for sneaking around and having a child, basically, that we are in this loop because we screwed up. And when she told me that, I thought, oh yeah, I can see that, but it didn't sit right with me. It didn't, I, I, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel, it didn't feel right. It felt like that's what I've always believed and that's what I've always fall, or that's what I've, like in subsequent lives, that's what I've continued to make the same mistakes and what I or had the same beliefs that I brought this on myself, which is fine. I can bring it on myself, but what what was the lesson? Because I feel like we're getting the wrong lesson. Since then, I've had two other people have this same journey, and I've had different opinions come out, and they fit more with what I believe, and that is that our our fault wasn't that we had this connection it wasn't that we succumbed to this connection and it wasn't that we had a child in this connection it was that we allowed societal um other people's authority um other societal beliefs that this is the hierarchy that you have to follow we let other people's um, rules dictate our truth, dictate where our love should or shouldn't be, um, dictate our, and control what I've learned is, you know, to follow your truth and follow your heart and unconditional love. And that, and that if you follow that belief of unconditional love, you'll follow the proper path. But if you're always afraid of what society says or what, you know, religion says or what, um, you know, just the governing bodies as a whole have said, you know, this is wrong, this is, you can't do this, or, you know, you aren't worthy, um, like, take your pick. But it's other people, other men, other society, like, those rules. <laughs> I feel like the rule of men rather than the rule of the universe. Does that make sense? I think that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, and so subsequently, in other past lives that um, have been shared with me, again, both of us, it, throughout mine and the ones that I've seen you in, we've been dictated by the laws of man and not following our truth. And that, not necessarily when it comes to you and I, but just our, our people in general, who we were, the paths we walked, were dictate, our, how we decided to move forward was dictated by other people. And as long as we're following other people's truth and not our own, we're doomed to fail. So, yeah. So I hope, in, and this is why my, when my friend came and talked to me, she goes, I keep, it, this, this, this past life keeps coming back to me and, and I'm wondering if you've, if you've changed something. And I said, well, I've changed in that I thought I should stop recording. And she's like, what are you doing? We were, things are going good. Um, so I'm following my truth. And that is that I really like talking to you and I wish I could hear you back. Um, but if I can't, this is what I have to do is speak my truth and tell my story. And so here I am and it's getting, it's getting darker as I do this. But um, anyway, uh, I was at the beach last night because Sadie wanted to go see if we could find, if we could see fireworks along the beach. 
and um, so we went and she went paddle boarding and it was awesome it was a beautiful night it had a small fire and I really wish well I did I did record and say happy Canada Day but I didn't post it so happy Canada Day and I guess my truth is that as soon as I decided not to record, I felt horrible. I felt worse than worrying or thinking about whether or not you were going to see my videos. So um, in order for me to be follow my bliss, I'm going to keep recording. Again, it might not be every day, but I, I'm going to keep doing this because it just... I'm tired of letting other people tell me what my truth is. I guess that's that's about it and I look so very tired because it's been a long couple days but anyway made jam today it's very good um, what else I don't know what else it doesn't really matter anyway this is this is me and I I I would love to be I'd love to hear if this story at all resonates with you because, yeah, it was just curious, curiosity, you know, that whole thing. But anyway, one of my past life journeys, maybe I will, sh or past life stories, maybe in the future, I will share some of the others with you because they're interesting and yeah. And you're involved in a lot of them so it's always good to share but until next time I will say dear twin flame as always you have all my love for all my life 